What's the crack lads? Welcome back. We're back with another player review and this time we're taking a look at the new selections. So we have got new English selections, Spanish selections and Italian selections, okay? We're going to go through all of these. But as we always do boys when we do these reviews, we're going to keep it very simple because are these players worth spinning for? In my personal opinion, unless you've downloaded the game within the last seven days, the answer will be no because it's so easy to grind GP. And these cards that you see here, we're going to have a few graphics up on the screen as well. These cards here, lads, are going to be identical. They're going to be identical, pretty much identical to what you have. What do I mean by that? Well, this is this card here for Halland. I'm going to hide my face. This is Halland's card here. So 82 speed, 79 attack and awareness, 86 finishing. And this is his card over here. If you want to take a look at that, right? This is his card over on eFootballDB. This is his base GP version of the card. Speed, 82. Physical contact, 84. Finishing, 83. Offensive awareness, 79. Again, you're talking about splitting hairs with these cards. So for all intents and purposes, boys, these cards are going to be identical to the GP variant. Who wants GP variant cards at the moment? Newcomers. There's a new conveyor belt of newcomers that is never ending all the time. People downloading the game and trying the game. If you're like me and you've been playing this game for a long time, which a lot of you guys have that watch me, you will know exactly what I'm talking about when I say that these cards are not where they need to be. You look at Halland. Very quick review of Halland. Same issue with every version of Halland. His balance type possession, he can't run and gun. He's too slow and his ball control is too slow to be on the ball. Finishing is good. His speed is good. And his skills were good. So he is a super sub. He's a very good impact player. And he's probably the best pick of them. Now, the attraction of this pack, I think, is for newcomers that haven't been able to grind GP. That they haven't been playing the game long enough to, to grind GP. If you're going in and you're trying to buy Haaland and Van Dijk and Hernandez, you're looking at about a million GP. Which is a lot for three players. So you can get these in four or five spins. It's a big win if you're looking to stay with these regular standard GP style players. You can still get these cards and bring them to Division 1. You can get to Division 1 with these cards, but I'm not going to over complicate it, right? We have Wissa here as well. This guy is just a traditional run-of-the-mill, really fast Roman flank left winger. He can play right side or left side, super sub as well. Use him as an impact sub. Fairly decent. If you're training these cards, lads, it's the same rules apply. I'm not even going to do that many guides on these. You'll have a couple of graphics up on the screen as we always do. I would say that if you are planning on clearing the agent here, you definitely would want to be getting about three or four of these players. Diaby is definitely one of those players. He's got really good pace, really good dribbling. His tight possession lets him down again, but he is a really good option for that right wing position or that left wing position. And he's got double touch. He's got soul control. And of course, you could give him flip flop to turn him into a, a really good dribbler with the ball roll. I would also say that Alvarez is a really solid choice as well. A little bit slow, but he does have 26 levels. He has an in-game phase, fighting spirit, blocker, aerial, superiority, one-touch pass, man-marking, and low lofted. And of course, he's got acrobatic clearance as well as heading. A very, very solid card. Has actually surprised me with how good he's been. Even his GP variant, which is really, really nice as well. And again, all that aggression stats as a destroyer is what you really need. The rest of the players, man, apart from, you know, Van Dijk is going to be solid. Van Dijk is very, very nice. I would say that Van Dijk is kind of a card that you can't go wrong with at the moment. He's in good form. He's having the season of his life at Liverpool. He's been a beast this season for him. And I do feel that like he is a really, really solid player. He's on, you know, really nice form. And he usually is in A or B, which is good. Defensively, he's very, very solid. His aggression is good. Even though he's not a destroyer, it's nice to have his aggression like that. Speed is very, very nice as well. Her Fernandez is a card that he doesn't really fit into where the meta is at the moment. But I do like that this version of the card does have fighting spirit as well. And that his speed is quite slow, but his stamina is high. So you can get the speed to about 80. That will be more than enough to bring the stamina up to about 93. And then you obviously get the manager boost, or you put it up 12 levels. His tight possession is good. His balance doesn't really come into it because he's aggression. He's more of a defensive box-to-box. -box. If you don't have Bellingham or someone like that, I would say he's worth it. The rest of the players, man, this pack now, as I said, unless you're a newcomer, you really do need to have better squad than this. It's a good entry level pack. Again, you've got Nori here as well, who's down with good speed, good acceleration, can play left, mid, left, back. Um, similar to kind of Grimaldo, very, very good passer on the ball with that lofted passing, and he does have dip and shot, soul control, and double touch and pinpoint. A nice card, he's got an in-game face as well. Uh, Matoma, one of my favorite players, very tight dribbling. But all of these cards, lads, 
I will have a couple of the graphics up on screen. They are pretty much identical, 95%, if not 97%, identical to the GP cards. And we've covered pretty much all of these cards over the last couple of weeks and months. So, yeah, I wouldn't, if you're looking at a player, man, I would always buy the player, regardless of the training level and the leveling. I'm not focusing too much on the leveling at the moment for one simple reason. All the leveling is going to be a little bit obsolete when they bring the new update to the gameplay, which is all but confirmed. So that is why I'm kind of sitting back a little bit. I'm not retraining my main squad. I'm not retraining my main players. So I do think that if they change something that balance and type position aren't as effective, then Haaland goes from being an impact off the bench player to being an actual beast, like he was when eFootball 22 first launched or eFootball 23 for the first month. The rest of the players, man, you know, you've got your goalkeeper in there pretty bad goalkeeper i wouldn't buy him with gp so i wouldn't spin for him here if you are prepared to spin for all of these with the guarantee that you're going to get the 11 players to have them as your your depth it's not a bad pack up next we will do the spanish one so i hope to see you guys there don't forget to subscribe and i will talk to you later